Hello friends, I am Manak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our video tutorial series on MS Excel. So friends, in this video we will see how we use alignment tools in this video. So let's start. So first of all, I will write something CIVIL Civil and then I will use the align tools. So by default you can see that the text is aligned along left. I can also align it along center or right similarly let me first increase the height of the row and width of the column then i can see that there are three options top align middle align and bottom align so i can also use this top align middle align and bottom align i'll go for middle align in both the options so my alignment has been done and if i want i can also use this this is the increase intent see what happens I can use this and this is the decrease intent I can also use this for moving my text closer so next I'll go to this change of orientation of text so let me type again something here eng dot so I'll change the orientation of the text I can keep it at an counterclockwise angle or clockwise angle or I can keep it as a vertical text as a rotate text up there are various options and the last option is rotate text down let me keep it as counterclockwise i can also change the angle here by if i select format cell alignment i can see that there is it is selected 45 degrees suppose i want it at a degree of 60 and then i press ok so you can see that the text is rotated at an angle of 60 degrees now coming forward to the next option it is the wrap text so what is it suppose i am typing in long sentence here so you can see that it has gone out of the cell if i want to display all this in a single cell then i will click just click the cell and select wrap text so all this text has come in a single cell it is a very useful tool now the next merge options suppose i have written civil here and i want to merge these three cells then i will select these three cells and select merge and center so coming to the next option it is my merge across option suppose i select some cells here and i select merge across you can see that only the columns have been merged the rows are the same similarly if i want to use the next option that is the merge cell if i select some cells and then i use the merge cells options then you can see the columns and row both have been merged and the next option is unmerge cell so I select the entire sheet and I select unmerge cells. So all these cells have been unmerged. So friend that's all for today. See you in the coming videos and don't forget to hit like and share with your friends. Bye bye.